Hello guys, welcome to yet another one of my Doctor Who figure reviews by me, obviously. Like I say, keep saying that every time, sorry. So I think I'd just better say by me, Joshua M. Lee 98 instead. Well, it's too late now. So, obviously, as you can see, I'm going to be reviewing the Tomb of the Cyberman Cyberman with the two Cybermats. So that's the wrong tone, but never mind. And the Cybermats are just basically accessories. And the cute thing is they can put in the Cyberman's hand. I'll explain that later. So yes, I got this from Argos, as I did with the 10th Planet Cyberman. Took a lot of waiting for, I well, I got the 10th Planet first, then the Invasion, then the Tomb of the Cyberman Cyberman. Waited ages for them. So yes, um, on to the review. As always, we start with articulation. There isn't much head articulation in the head, but they don't seem to move in the episode. Well, I haven't seen the episode, but I've seen a clip, and they don't move their head at all. So there isn't 360 degrees at the arm, but only about 180 once again, because we've obviously got a wire here stopping it, same with this arm. There is a 300, well, not 360 degrees, but about 180 degree, degrees, or 90 degrees, whatever, I think it's, yes, it's 180 degrees swivel, and there isn't much point of the swivel because of the tube here, as you can see. So yeah, there's 90 degrees in the um, elbow joint and 360 in the hands. But the tubes don't stop them very much. They're rather flexible. So I'll just get a bit of focus. So they are rather flexible so they could do whatever you need to do with them. The waist can move a little way around but it obviously can't move 360 degrees because once again we've got the wires stopping them. Not the actual creature but just little tubes. So, for the legs, just move out the arms, they can do the splits, the wires don't stop them there, and the wires don't stop them from their legs going all the way up there as if it was going to sit down, because these bits here just go up. Um, 90 degrees in the knee joint, wire doesn't stop them, once again, tube, sorry, and 360 degrees in the boots, all the way around. Now I'm going to save the disadvantages to it for later. Now we're going to move on to the detail. The head is done really, really well. It's got lots of grooves everywhere, as you can see by the reflection. Translucent bars on the top here, and a bit fragile. Chest unit, very well done, looks very detailed. All lots of grooves in it and everything, wires packed in there. Everything units in there, no buttons, just this little light here. The tubes, very well done. Got these wee little grooves in there, sorry, focus problems. And little dots in the end here. The face, it has got the black eye, sorry, I'll just move the camera. Right, yes, got the black outlines and the mouth. On the back, just all what you'd expect. Not much detail, just a few grooves, creases rather. So, that's the articulation in detail done. Now for the disadvantages. There aren't really very many disadvantages, but um, the thing that came with my figure, as you can probably already see from looking at the face and the head, um, this um, handle here is bent, which was very disappointing when I first saw it, because the width here isn't as long as the one from the other side, and that's what made it curl. And also, I don't know if you could see, but, well, you can't with the wrong focus. There we go, sorry about that. The outlines are slightly printed off, so it looks like he's got little bags. But the math is done, alright? Now, for the... Um, advantages and the unexpected things that came through through sorry um, I didn't think that the arms would be very poseable due to these tubes here but they are actually rather poseable better than I expected because they can all obviously do that and up here and put it like there roughly stay do their little salute and that was one thing I didn't expect because of the wires I thought they'd just be little 
a um, harder plastic or rubber rather. So that's my review for the um, Tim the Submarine Submarin. I haven't quite finished it yet because I haven't given it its rating. Well no I haven't finished it actually. Hang on. So for the Tim the Submarin Submarin I'd give it a um, 10 out of 10 because I'm not going to give it a 9 or an 8 because of the mistakes of the hands on the eyes. That's because it's done by the actual figure. Others are far better quality than mine. Now to the little cyber mats. They're just down there. Just move them along. I'm oh, sorry. Push that. Oh, under the camera. Right, change the focus. And there we are. Right. Hang on. A little bit difficult with the unarmed. Okay. Cyber mats now. So you can see the difference between them. I'll start with the unarmed one. Just get the focus on a little bit. So there's no lights on the other side. Right, there we are. Right. So you can see he's got his little eyes, antennae, and little grooves at the back. So it's basically like a cyber slug. But it looks very metallic. That's because of the paint job. These side mats obviously have no articulation because they are far too small to do that. They're even smaller than the adipose. And that's saying something. Alright, for the main one that we always see. Very scary, very creepy. Not exactly scary, but just creepy. As you can see, he's got his big out eyes that go out a little bit. And so now, obviously, he's got his little teeth or things at the bottom here, which makes it rather frightening. That's when it does its plagues and, well, its thing, rather. Yeah, these are basically cyber slugs with antennae. Wait, slugs always have an antennae. Sorry. Right then. Change the focus. Sorry, my focus camera, well, camera, focus on the camera doesn't change quickly as Mega Shorts as does. If you haven't seen his reviews, then you'll find out that they're a lot better. Alright, oops, sorry about that. Right. Now, the cute thing I find about this, sorry, change the focus. Yes. The cute thing I find is that the Cyberman can hold the um, Cybermats as if they're their little pets, but sometimes it's difficult to pop them on. Alright, just give me a second or two. All right. They're just balanced on there, but for the Cybermats I give them a... 10 out of 10 because they're a really good accessory and the bit I like is obviously they can fit in the Cyberman's hand. So that's my review on both the Cyberman from the Timber Cyberman and the Cybermats. Sorry the arms are a bit uneven there. Oops, Cybermats. Oh they've both fallen off. Oh well I give up. I'll just leave them like that. Let's move them back. Can't really see them side by side but just so you know they are down there. Okay, so that's my review on the Tim the Cyberman Cyberman. Thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Well, you'll see my reviews later. And don't forget the TTFN, in case you're wondering what that means. Ta-ta for now.